Good morning. And I haven't done any unboxings for a little while, so I thought I'd do this one this morning. And this actually came for me over the weekend from SNK. And I don't know if you can guess what it is. If you read the title, then you'll know what it is. But um, I kind of ordered this on a whim, and uh, I'd heard really good things about it. So let's get into it and see if I was right to order it. First things first, the packaging <laughs> is very good. It's, uh, yeah, it's nice. Uh, Amazon could learn a thing or two from this. Decent sized box, just right for the product with good stuff packaging, packaging it to stop it getting damaged. That's what you want. Anyway, let's get all this out of here and just lay that aside for the moment. There's a couple of things in the box itself. Just a, I mean, basically advertising. Nicely done, though. Put that out of the way. And then there's this, which is my little comic. You guys who are really into this stuff can probably let me know what that's all about. It's basically advertising. It's nicely done. Let's move this lot out of the way as well and get into it itself. As you can see, I've not been into this, so this is going to maybe take some doing to get into it. And I'm going to have to try and do this without actually doing any damage. So bear with me. Now, where's the tape? There's some tape there. <laughs> this has been wrapped by my gran. My gran unfortunately hasn't been with us for some years but famously <laughs> she used to wrap up Christmas presents so tight that you can get into them <laughs> and I still remember that now. I was only a kid when she passed unfortunately. Can we get in there? I think we're almost in, so I think I can put my knife away for the minute. And this, as I keep saying, is phenomenally well packaged. And that is what I ordered. The SNK 40th, 40th Anniversary Collection. And this is the Collector's Edition. And it comes with 13 games from, I think they're from 1981 to 1990. And the other thing is, it's going to be getting a whole load of other games as well. I think 11 more games as a free download down the line. And this is for Switch. So yeah, it predates Neo Geo. It's not Neo Geo games, unfortunately. Hopefully, you never know. They might actually do a Neo Geo collection. That'd be pretty nice. I've heard that this is a nice collection, as I keep saying. So let's try and be gentle and get into this without doing any damage. <laughs> I'm a bit wary about sticking the knife in. Don't want to hurt the box. Right, should be able to get into there now. I'm a bit obsessive about keeping stuff in good nick, which is a source of depression for me because <laughs> I had a load of original Xbox games as an aside and they were mint and I sold them all a few years ago and now I'm buying them all back and the ones I'm buying aren't as in good nick as the ones that I sold. But anyway, that's by the by. Let's get into this. The packaging, look at this. Even the inside of the box. This is beautiful. And uh, this has been put together by Digital, Digital Eclipse, so I understand. But look at that, there's loads of stuff in there. So let's have a look. Let's get it all out and just go through it. First things first, the game itself, or the games on a cartridge for the Switch. 
and this is what you'll get if you order the standard edition. It's still a pretty good package even with the standard edition because there's a load of stuff on here relating to the history of SNK and all the rest of it. So this is worth getting in and of itself. And if you're interested in purchasing this, I will put a link in the description. Um, so yeah, if you use that link, I'll get a little kickback so you'll be doing me a favour and it won't cost you any more. So yeah, check that out if you're interested. So that's that. Let's put that back in there for now. I'm not going to show you the cartridge because, well, you've seen countless cartridges. And then the next layer. How does this open? Oh. Ah. Soundtrack CD. Some of you guys out there probably don't know what a CD is, do you? <laughs> Some of you youngsters. I've still got vinyl. Mind you, that's coming back, isn't it? See all these hipsters walking around buying vinyl and then they buy a crappy little record deck. But yeah, that'll be nice. I'll sling that on and have a listen to it. I'll rip it and listen to it digitally. Or I might listen to the actual CD in the car because I listen to CDs in the car sometimes. Let's put that back in its little box for now, though, if I can. Oh, let's leave that as is and I'll do that properly in a minute. And then the next thing... Wow. Postcards by the look of it. Let's see if I can get into there. I'm going to need my knife again just to get it started. Right, so that's that started. This is when you need nails. Unfortunately, I don't have any nails. I need my sister. She's got nails. Or my partner. She's got nails. There you go. This is SNK and Digital Eclipse on the back and NIS as well. So that's one. Two. This artwork is gorgeous. These things are beautiful. Three, this is the fourth one. Are you seeing this? These are beautiful. I don't know if this is showing up on camera, but the colours are everything. It's just absolutely gorgeous. I'd almost buy these on their own. They are just beautiful. The artwork for these games back in the day was lovely. The funny thing is, you'd go and <laughs> look at these games either in the arcade or, or, you know, if you were going and buying things like Spectrum games or Commodore 64 games or whatever, and the artwork was often just phenomenal. And especially these the SNK stuff, I think yeah, the artwork for SNK was, was brilliant. And um, <laughs> then sometimes you'd go and play the game and... Uh, you know, the gameplay was good and everything, but let's be honest, the graphics were a bit of a letdown after the cover art. Because <laughs> the cover art was often just, well, like this, you can see this. It's beautiful stuff. I mean, you know, just gorgeous. And then you get the little pixel art <laughs> on the actual game. But here we are with the SNK 40th Anniversary Collection Official Art Book. And, you know, this is something I might actually buy on its own, you know, in a little package. Because, you know, it's worth looking through. And there's a lot of information in here. And you've got the table of contents here, and it goes through the games that are in here. Vanguard, TNK, or Tank, I suppose you would pronounce it. Uh, Ikari Warriors, Victory Road, and so on and so forth. And then ends with Crystallis is the last one listed. Some of you guys will know some of these better than I do. I'm looking forward to having a play with them and reading about them as well. And as you can see, the artwork is replicated inside the book and there's lots of information. We've got Trivia, uh, SNK's Ambitious Shooter. It goes through. And there's information on all the games, look. Dev Diaries. 
you see there, Dev Diaries. And it's just, just gorgeous. Just a lovely little collection. And, you know, I'm really pleased that I bought this. And I'll be even more pleased if the, the games are fun. And I've heard there's some nice little touches with the actual games themselves. Like you can go and watch them play in and then jump in and play along and stuff like that. Whether that's the case, I, I, I need to test that out. Maybe I'll do another video looking at the actual uh, cartridge. I keep saying disc, but the cartridge itself. But yeah, this is nice as well. Look, nice little bit of information. And there's, there's more information on the cartridge as well, from what I understand. Um, so, yeah, I, I mean, I'm hoping it's going to be a bit like some years ago now. I, I picked up, a, uh, and I'm going slightly off topic, but it is, you know, pertinent. I bought a, a Neil Young retrospective, and it was a big box set. And it had loads of stuff in there about, you know, the, the history of Neil Young. And it had lots of concert footage and songs, versions of songs that he'd never done. Well, never put out before, at least. And so it was really worth having as a collectible and a lot of collectibles these days just come with a load of old tat and when you get something like this you know the SNK 40th anniversary collection where they've actually put a little bit of care into it I mean you know going on about the box art but look when somebody puts in a bit of care or a team of people put in some care and they put something out like this I think it's worth supporting so if you are into retro gaming I think this is a bit of a no-brainer. And even if you buy the standard edition, a lot of the information that's in the book and the artwork and stuff will be recreated digitally. And I think there's even more, as, I, as I've said before. So, yeah, I think first impressions are that this is definitely worth a punt. And if you can afford the collectible or the collector's edition, then go for that as well. I'm not sure. It was a little bit more expensive, but it wasn't stupidly expensive. And uh, I think I'm going to enjoy this. But anyway, that's me done. Gone on a bit. I'm going to uh, go and grab myself a cup of tea. Hopefully you enjoyed this one. Let me know what you think in the comments and tell me your experience of SNK and, and, and other retro games that you've played in the past. And maybe that you're still playing. And uh, yeah, we can have a chat. And I'll speak to you in the next one. Bye.